We are live. Let me refresh this thing. Make sure you can see us. Make sure you can hear us. Nothing yet. There we go. And we look good. Looks like the sound's good. Looks like the video is good. Uh, B, that's that's a nice ass hat. I mean, you know, y'all know I'm doing this for Kobe. All right. <laughs> Nobody else. Only for Kobe. Where did you uh, where'd you get that hat? Uh, lids. <laughs> I I actually, like, I've had this. I don't know, like they had like a sale or something going on, but I got this. I got a Pat's hat and I got a Golden State hat. Um, but I've had this for a while, so I it's just, this is actually the first time I rock it. I just uh, had this on display. Oh, but, so the first time you watch it, well, watch it. Uh, I guess wear it when uh, you watch them uh, win the title, huh? Yeah, 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 for Kobe, you know, it's oh, for Kobe. Yeah, for Kobe, for Kobe. you know what I'm That's saying? Right. You know? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dapper Fanatic say, I wouldn't say you look good, but you're here. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let me go back. <laughs> let me go back to uh, see who's here. Jimmy, Fly Kicks, The Man, Mr. Information, Jared, uh, Milko, Hawaii Rams fan, William Perry, Eddie, Texas, <clears throat> Pete, Divisor, Puma, Hustler. Let's see, keep going, Josh, Patrick, uh, Rock the Kicks, True Win, uh, keep going down, Authentic Reseller, Austin, Big Money, Mo, uh, Drum the Hustler, Mile High Hustle, Brian, what's up, I owe you shoes, every time I say the name Brian, and I don't give him the shoes yet, it's going to remind me, uh, Pags, Dominic, Resell Freak, Dapper Phonetic, Mercurial Venom, Coo Kicks, Tans Fines, Tans Fines, I owe you money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, guy, this guy owes people a lot of stuff. Anyway, uh, how many meals again? I know. B, I owe you like four meals. <laughs> uh, Sneaker Fines 12, Mateo, Money Hungry Picker, Smooth Sailing, Bartek, Miles, Miss, uh, Mr. Sports LA. I haven't talked to Mr. Sports LA since the Lakers won. So, how's he doing up there? Chilling in world champion LA. Right. Fabian, resale freak. Let's see, I'm Rick's boss. Geo sold out. Caroline. Um, let's see, Stephanie, Barry, Petty Deals, Aaron, Mojo, and uh, Felicia. Lucky on three legs. Hustle and muscle. Many fresh. Carrie P. Austin and more people coming in. So man. Uh <laughs> Stevie D says Glenn and the bandwagon Lakers fan. What's up? <laughs> hey Stevie D. See, see look at that shoe. I do it for Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Right there. It's been there. It's been doing there. it for Kobe. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. So let's start. Let me let me bring this up real quick. It's part of the show anyway. You know, always have to mix it up. We start off with some random things. So let me get this going. Let's start off with the picture on the left. Sports on Sunday, very weird, very random. Good things, bad things. The good thing, Lakers, obviously champions. Here's the thing I got to ask you, B. Kobe, Jordan, LeBron, how do you rank them? And then I'll tell you mine. Jordan, Kobe, Dirk. <laughs> oh, this guy, <laughs> man. Here's the thing, though. Everyone's getting all hyped up with like LeBron Jordan talk. I'm like, dude, Jordan never asked anybody for respect. He oh. just everyone already knew. It's like you don't mess with them. And then the thing is, before Kobe died, I feel like a lot of people just like dismissed Kobe in all this talk. Everyone was just always. LeBron Jordan. It's like, come on, Kobe. Like, but yeah. no, they just dismissed him. Jordan's still number one. Yes, in my book. Uh, yeah. B is high. Dirk not top three. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's all I could think. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to the picture on the right. right, right yeah, me, me, Glenn, when you win something, you don't ask for respect. Yeah. You don't. Come on. You can't. You won't. Respect is given, not asked. They <laughs> give it to you, you know? Come on, man. I know. Like, I'm I'm 
respect here. Here's five dollars. Go buy respect out there or something. <laughs> but, so whatever. now on the right side we had our picture of Dak. This one was tough. If you watched oh. the highlight, it was bad. You don't want to see that happen to anybody. Um, then seeing him also in tears, who knows how many things going through his mind at that point. Um, I also saw a lot of memes because when he, when he got hurt, Romo on the commentary was like, genius Jim, I don't know. looks like a cramp. Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, people were like, dude, that's yo, said, like an opposite said, yeah. way. Even they said like they Romo tried to sprinkle his luck there or something like that because you know how he predicts plays and stuff like that. Yeah. But man, when when he said that and they pan and they zoom into the foot, I was like, oh, that's like that's that's facing the wrong way, bro. That's not a crab. Oh man, it was rough. Um, I'm not a Cowboys fan, obviously, but still, yeah. just quick recovery for Dak. That was like. Yeah, I mean, we've seen a lot of different bad injuries right, throughout right, the right. years, NBA and NFL. I think the hardest thing is coming back mentally. Right, right, right. right. They're saying how, like, you know, Hayward, I mean, for Celtics, I don't think, did he uh, even, like, do same, much? Bro. Yeah. He's not the same. Mentally, he's not there. Yeah, I and mean, that's probably one of the hardest things to come back. Yeah, but but also, too, great news. Alex Smith reactivated. He's that, was a, that was good seeing him come back. I did oh. get a little nervous, though, when he was getting tackled. I mean, he plays for Washington. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that was like, man, yeah, playing if, for the if, football team. Right. If he can come back, that can. You know? Yeah. I think that kind of like he set the bar now of like how bad injury can happen, and then you can still come back. Yeah. But don't worry, Cowboys fan. We got you all the way from Cincinnati, Andy Dalton. <laughs> oh, yeah. Red Rifle. He's out there. Dalton. Hey, bro, next to you, you know what I mean? Dude, as soon as Dalton played, yo, I literally legit sold an Andy Dalton jersey. $40 ship, bro. <laughs> Man, uh, Jake got to get those Dalton jerseys up. How many jerseys did Jake have of Dalton? He had a bunch well, of them. What are you supposed to do for the I got kids. <laughs> the good ones. I, I I only had the printed ones. Oh, okay. All right, let's move on. Now we gotta talk sneaker news. Ooh. So first releasing next month, Kobe five, Bruce Lee. B for for the collection. You're planning on getting these or no? Oh, bro, for real. Like I've been trying to find like a a B shoe, you know, a hustle B shoe, and and this is one of those that I want to rock, and I've oh like put in like the finals this year made me really really want to get Kobe five because back in the day when they released, we couldn't afford to buy it, like legit my parents were like that's just too much, and we couldn't afford it. So like if there's a shoe that I really want to start rocking, like it's a Kobe five and Bruce Lee's coming up. I'm even really trying to get the ones that's coming out tomorrow uh you know so mm, fire yeah, rings. I, yeah like because they're just like you know they're like they're just ball shoes but they're like sneakers too that you can rock with shorts and you know walk around and stuff like that now 11 years later we get the lebron 8 south beach people are angry especially for the dudes that have had it for a long time you know how much they're worth yeah you're not feeling them well, like, see, for me, like, I, I love LeBron tents. Obviously, I mean, you've seen me play with them. I like the full zoom sole, but I feel like I feel like the shoe has evolved. Like, like, like Jordan Five is a lot more relevant now than the LeBron Eight. I feel yeah. like that's 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 what it's like because it's just like that slim and not bulky, right? Like LeBron's just always been bulky, but back in the day, it was everybody was wearing bulky shoes, but now it's just like. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really feeling it. Yeah, let's see. Sneaker finds twelve says LeBron eleven is my favorite uh, looks wise. I like the ten. I also like the nine. Um, obviously, the thirteen was the worst. Um, <laughs> but these, yeah, they do. They're all kind of big, kind of bulky, but they still run tight. Like you still got to go yeah, like size very, up. Very like so much pad around them. Yeah, because like, it's leather. It probably doesn't really stretch that much. But 
but like a lot of this like because of the bottoms though the yellow so see like i'm not a fan of that and then you know the toe box just get easily damaged i've seen a lot of shoes had to be repainted or something let me see lebron stock going <laughs> up cop and hold or cop and resell from willie Nah, not really lebron shoes just haven't done well I mean, if you see the Kobe's, the pre, I mean, even the Kobe's hasn't really shot that high like it used to. How much more LeBron's? LeBron's and what about LeBron 8, the V2 low Miami, Miami Knights? Miami Knights. I was never a fan of this shoe. I don't know. Uh, I, I didn't like the speckle kind of like rap yeah. No. I don't know. But I definitely want to pick up some South Beach. And of course, Kobe Grinch, uh, which everyone's pumped about that. Oh, bro. For next year. <laughs> if I can, I'll just get the Mamba Grinch, the Mamba Rage. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. All right, let's get into the news. You know we had to talk about it. You know you wanted to know. So eBay launches sneaker authentication program, and Soul Collector posted this. And the first comment: StockX with the yawn emoji. <laughs> Here's the thing, though, man. Like, That's how did StockX so cocky when, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of like those resellers on IG that are like want to show all their good finds, but yet they're like two, three months away from combusting once Burlington closes. <laughs> like, <laughs> next thing you know, StockX is like, they're gonna say, oh, oh we, we're now we're letting go 300 more people, but yet they have this yawn emoji here to talk trash. That's probably Scott Cutler or something. <laughs> and so yes ebay now with here's what we know about it we're going to go through the details and let me see what the chat says <laughs> laughing for weeks dang stock x uh stock x is like glenn they don't pay quick enough <laughs> that's hilarious all right and i owe everybody money all right let's go to the next one here we go the facts what they're talking about all the details so they announced monday it will verify all collectible Sneaker listings more than $100 to bid a combat rampant counterfeiting that is increasingly common on third-party marketplaces. Now, what does collectible sneaker listings more than $100 mean to you? I mean, collectible. like, perfect example, like Yeezys. Um, it's really not, I think they have to, <laughs> um, I think it's not collectible. It's, it's probably most replicated sneakers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like weird. I don't know. It's a weird word. I guess, like, for you that. Know, like people collect SBs when they were back in the day. They weren't worth a hundred. Now they're over a hundred. Right? Yeah, that's true. So I mean, it's it's. I guess it's just you know, it's a layman's term or street term or, or like layman's term of people not really knowing what sneaker is. I guess. Yeah, like Willie Will said, <laughs> and um, and Jay's closet. Anything hype? Anything hype beast? Right. They probably technically fall into this category. Right. Um, so let's let's talk about the key facts. So before a sneaker order ships, the seller will now be required to send it to an independent third-party authentication facility for a <laughs> comprehensive multi-point physical inspection. <laughs> now, do we have this in English? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? If <laughs> In short term, we'll do it the same process as goat dust. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, let me see. Uh, Willie says, authentication on every jersey, shoe, clothing item, $5 charge. That's it. Ship to the closest di uh, distribution center. eBay, get your game up. Hype equals scammers. Uh, which, yeah, I mean, they've been selling fake jer fake everything for who knows how long. Um and now, because of stocks, go, they want to jump in into this. eBay is partnering with SneakerCon, a company that hosts large conventions for sneakerheads to run the facility. Yeah. <clears throat> B. <laughs> All right. So, so I think I think we we I I've seen I've seen the pattern or what has happened. eBay has closely worked with SneakerCon. And I don't know what's the relationship in between there. Maybe SneakerCon is owned by eBay or is funded by eBay or is the cousin of somebody in eBay. But SneakerCon always had an in with eBay. Yeah. And recently, the last one that me and Glenn 
went to, uh, we were approached multiple times uh, if we would sell on the SneakerCon app. Basically, it was another GOAT app, right? And and <clears throat> as soon as I saw the tags, this thing, this tags, is the exact same design as SneakerCon. <laughs> it is. <laughs> they just rebadge it. So I think during the corona or pandemic, SneakerCon was like, what are we going to do now with our infrastructure or something like that? So he texts his buddy in there, his cousin or his homie, yo, let's do this. Let's collab and take down stock eggs or something like that. Yeah. And they got a little hype over it. You know, they took their shoe off and they put it on the background like that. And they took a photo. Let's launch this. How are we going to do this? I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's multi-point inspection. That's how we'll sell it. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the so, thing, though. When we went to SneakerCon, though, remember the guy that was checking the shoes that we had? Because um, we were selling them to that other guy. All he did was just kind of, like, touch them, smell them, put them back. I was like, yeah, they're real. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he did this. Bend yeah. it. Squeeze it like that. Smell I'm it. Like, and that's it. But dude, he he did catch a fake one though. He did. Yeah, catch was it like a guy in front or two guys in front of us or something? Yeah, it's what like shoe did he have? Um, some one was Travis Scott Lowe for sure. He said, "Take this out of here, or I'll kick you out." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's say after verification, EB will use expedited shipping to send the sneakers to the buyer. Service will launch this mm. month. And will eventually include all sneaker sales over 100 by early 2021. Here's a line that got me. Eventually include all sneaker sales over $100. Right, right. By early 2021, that's like in four or five months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So to give you a perspective, managed payments was launched. What? Two years ago, <laughs> our first, <laughs> our first eBay open, right, Glenn? Yeah. Our first eBay open, we're invited to pilot test it. We didn't say we didn't we didn't join the pilot test program, and it just got implemented two and a half years later. And that's payments. That's not handling any item. That's not creating any warehouse. That's just electronic. You know, like that's back end work, computer work. This one, this will involve a lot more people, a lot more moving parts. And and they didn't even say if it's optional or if it's required, right? That was yeah. the other thing that people raised. Yeah. Like, like, imagine, well, for us, it's probably convenient, maybe in a way. You know, somebody said, what's our perspective when we push, because vo we push volume? It wouldn't be as much different as what we do with GOAT and StockX. We just drop it off at UPS. See you later. Hasta la vista. But, but the thing is, with this one, how is that going to compete? Because we see we see a lot more sales with eBay because of the convenience of getting it to them within two or three days. Yeah, exactly. Now, with any logistical problem, you know, perfect example, StockX, they're not getting it three weeks later. Yeah. You know, so now you're going to have influx of if GOAT and StockX can't even perfect it or get it to under a week, you know, turnaround, how much more eBay, you know, because they just really don't have a sneaker head, a sneaker backbone yet. Um, but I don't know how it's going to happen. But but man, sneaker cons ran by 10 people, you know, <laughs> imagine sending all your shoes there. <laughs> Uh, it's you know like imagine that like they were even trying to ask people to sell on their i on their platform sneakercon was so that's how they weren't that much prepared for that so um i think this is a cool concept of course um i think they did this with um uh, purses right glenn uh, yeah so here's the thing they did it with purses and they just yeah. recently did it with watches but yeah. the thing is with watches they said two thousand dollars or more Right, right. So you kind of figured, hey, how many watches are kind of coming through? Probably enough for them to handle it. But right. with shoes, anything over a hundred dollars, I mean, they're gonna get <laughs> slammed. Right. <laughs> I don't even think they're able to even keep up. Like, no. no. To eventually include all sneaker sales over a hundred. Here's the other right. questions that we had. So, like in the chat, Felicia also asked, "What about returns?" Now, when I read in the article, I don't have it here. They said that. They're with returns, they want to return it, they're gonna send it back to the warehouse 
Now they're going to authenticate that it was the same shoe that you sold to them to right, ship right. back to you as a return. <laughs> How long is this process going to take? Two months. You won't get your shoes for two months. So what <laughs> I'm going to do? What I'm going to do if I start hitting on Glenn? I'm going to buy a hundred pairs of Glenn shoes and return it. <laughs> gonna have an inventory for two months. <laughs> oh man! Just to get eliminate eliminate the yes. whole seller. Eliminate the whole listing. Buy all his listing and then return it later. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. eBay about to verify millions of tailwinds from district <laughs> deals. <laughs> I, mean, I imagine how um, that would just take forever to do. Like you're there authenticating basic ass Kyrie's Cortez. Cort <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> and I think the other question was, so what do the fees look like? So obviously this $100 that they're saying is because they gave us the break in the fees. Are yeah. they still going to have a break in fees? I highly <laughs> oh, yeah. doubt that. Who's going to pay for all know. these people? They're, they're trying to get it back. <laughs> I know. That's the thing that sucks. Look, once they get the fees up and you have to deal with this, I think people are just going to be like, and, and deal with returns. Hey, this is going to be like, Hey, Mercari, we're here. <laughs> yeah. So what? It, so B, what about, you know, we got some capital. Right. We need to start up our own app. <laughs> seller oriented. What's best for the seller, damn it. <laughs> These guys can't get it right. We know yeah. firsthand by selling how to do it right. right All we need right. is someone to uh, do the coding and deal with credit cards. Yeah, and... we'll, we'll, we'll do it like Amazon. Store us your inventory. I'll house you. I'll warehouse your inventory and I'll sell it for you. <laughs> I'll sell it for you. Thirty percent, thirty percent fees. <laughs> <laughs> Days goes high. All right, so that was it for that. That's our input on it. I just think that all we can do is wait to see what happens. Yeah. Then... Well, like you know, like it's fun. It's kind of like a cool topic to talk about, but it's not really gonna happen. I, yeah, I don't. I don't see this happening <laughs> by like early 2021. <laughs> nah. Are are they? Are you sure it's not 2031? That's, that's what I, I, yeah. That's it should be error. a three, not a two. Yeah, it's just not a two. Yeah, so I wouldn't worry about all of them yeah. going on there for a long time. Yeah. All right. Speaking of sales, how are your sales in the chat? StockX, eBay, Goat. Are they good? Are they bad? Are they sitting there? What's going on? Talk to me. B, uh, how are your sales? Stock egg, uh, stock egg's still crappy, just because yeah. I just lost any energy in trying to focus <laughs> on that app. Um, Goat is slowly picking up. Uh, uh, the last seven days were a lot better than the previous week, so that's good. I can smell Q4 there. Um, eBay has picked up. I've been seeing a lot more thousand days now than uh, compared to the last two weeks. Uh, so, and also like a lot of the clothing items, uh, uh, cold, you know, for winter that I bought from last spring now are starting to move. So, uh, that's a good sign. And, and we kind of know, like, you know, like I talk to Glenn all the time, like I know what eBay Q4 is going to be already. I've been to two of them already, but, but you still, it's like, man, can I just do better? Right? Like, that's kind of like my, our thing, like, man, can I just do better? A little bit more better than than what we did uh last q4 and and statistically we should be doing a lot better because we have a lot more inventory so yeah for sure let me see what the chat says uh go in ebay everybody says go is pretty much doing pretty good for them uh bigger brand 190 plus watching only 37 likes hit <clears> that like button and uh, let me see sales have been pretty good lots of stock x shoot to kill uh, StockX and Go, Coach Steve, been a little slow. Sneaker Binds 12, eBay starting to roll. Sneaker Pickers, Go and eBay, Go is on fire for me. Jimmy, eBay and Posh are up. Um, someone said about clothing. Clothing has been doing pretty good. I think a lot of people getting into like jackets, hoodies, getting ready for that, you know, fall into winter mm -hmm. uh, clothing and stuff. So I think those have been doing pretty good right now. Uh, Extra Grands, what's up? Uh, Ross Shellington, steady right now. Uh, eBay on fire, authentic reseller. And Drum says eBay and Mercari. So, yeah, sales should be good. Let's see what happens if we get closer to Black Friday range and the weather change and 
the virus stuff, and I don't know what's gonna happen next another two and a half lock- months. Another lockdown? No, no, no. <laughs> no, we're pushing it. All right, it's gonna do some of the solds. I'm just gonna cover. A, I'm just gonna have a couple of them. I'm gonna cover. Um, Freebird. I don't know what happened. Man. I think they're all gone now. You, you um, finally seen... sold. You finally sold this one. It didn't fit you right. <laughs> yeah, look at this guy. He's got jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, maybe uh, me and Jake been trying on women's shoes. Is that you're trying to say? Because Jake out here is very sensitive. And I'm very sensitive. Uh, size nine, two ninety five retail. It's selling for one eighty. I think. I think that was it. I didn't see any other ones that were out there. I think it was just kind of like the same style for like what a little while, a little like mm, less than a month, and then it was just gone. I haven't seen any other ones. But if any free birds come back. I'll be ready. <laughs> Tyler's green said you didn't list them as athletic shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. <laughs> uh, let's see, Air Max Day shorts. You guys remember these in the video? And uh, we did sell them for 60 bucks, and they were uh, $16. And speaking of shorts, last one, I did not keep them. Jake did keep them. I didn't want to look like Jake, and so I decided <laughs> to sell them. Uh, they sold them for 50 bucks. <laughs> So, and Jack, uh, Jake was rocking them in uh, an IG, and I was like, "Oh yeah, you gotta sell it already." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, all right." Uh, what happened to the returns, Mister Eric? Let me see. <laughs> Looks like a Bosch sale. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Sold on my Freebirds, one eighty plus, and been selling Freebirds to resell Freak. All right, weekend releases started off today. Women's Jordan 1, Lucky Green. And I don't know. I guess originally when I saw them on the photos, I liked them. Dude, I thought it was a lot more greener than that. And I thought he had a black bottom. Yeah. Now I saw them in photos. Like when people had them in hand, I was like, I don't know. They look look a little weird. They're like caterpillar green or something. (laughs) You know, like it's like, it's like, is it really green? You know, like kind of got like a lot more yellow to it or something like that so now i gotta see when they come in um luckily it did just hit one but on sneakers app came through but right. my size so let's see when they come in oh uh, you gotta keep them man. it's christmas just throw in a red laces there <laughs> christmas time ready to go right right uh let's see let me go back here l l slept yep. in copped one y mile high hustle let me see let me guess b got six of those ku kicks no, I didn't get I didn't get any. I, I totally I slapped on the sneakers app and I didn't win on any of my raffles. Mm, I don't like nope. that. Let me see. Cop two. My wife hit, got her size. And uh L from Eddie, big L, big money mo. Man, money mo took an L. That means that That's rare. Rare, rare. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. So tomorrow, as B mentioned. Kobe 5 Pro Troll, five rings. So 180 sneakers app select retailers. Um, would you keep these or you wanted to sell them? I'd keep it. So uh, let me, for the people that's got this already, because I was there an early drop for this one? I don't remember. Maybe. Because I, I see some uh, some people selling it on StockX. I think it came out on Mamba Week or something, some drop or something like that. But I've seen people already selling this. Um, but I might have to uh, bite the bullet and pay resale on this one if I don't get it. Yeah, early Ooh. access got them already. Um, prior to Lakers winning them, I know uh, Maximo Fines posted them, and they were like two fifty or two sixty something like that. So not mm. bad, you know, comparing it was one eighty retail. But but yeah, like this is gonna be hard. You know, it will look good with my hat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I think it's a clean shoe. Yeah, Maximo's a beast. So yeah. in his Kobe collection. So yeah, let's see when these come out. 180 come out tomorrow. So you can set that reminder mm-hmm. right now in the app. Seeing those come out and good luck trying to get these. See what they resell for. But yeah, with the title and everything, definitely everything is going back. Everything's going up. All right, let me see. Early access B 180, another L. Brilliant dominance. See, cop those bad boys too legit. Let's see, I'm a fan of those. Those are fire overseas. Sneaker finds 12. I still have some DS Kobe's from 2008, Mr. Eric. Wow. 
<laughs> Next one. Didn't we already see an air raid? Yeah. We talked about an air raid. Yeah, we talked about this. Didn't we talk about this last week? I think we did, unless the color was slightly different, no? I think it's the same thing. We're trying to like, <laughs> I think uh smooth uh smooth sailing was copying one or something. Did they already come out? Oh it got delayed, that's what Josh said. Ah, uh, uh, that's what happened. Uh, yeah, so. they played you. Yeah. Oh, Dookie. So tomorrow, Thursday, uh, one forty for the air <clears throat> raid for those that did want them. Um, I already what I got already, and they got pushed back from Richard. Yeah, but um, some malls already got them out because I seen a dude rock them already. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I think they did. Well, I guess some people got them, and they did get right. pushed a little mix. But yeah, come out tomorrow, um, uh, October fifteenth. I guess second chance, technically. <laughs> so you had the OGs, got a cop from Robbie Rob. Next one. Supreme Air Max Plus. Price Trash. to be determined. Water. Uh, <laughs> Thursday, uh, also tomorrow. So Supreme Air Max, how do we feel? Looks like toilet water. In the chat. This is like, this is like when you ate too much Skittles and you got drunk and you puked. <laughs> You just like a fat dump all over the yeah. racks and just like yeah. all over this. Such a these clean, are these are ugly. I mean, dude, such a clean like silhouette, right? Like finally they they pick an Air Max Plus, right? Like from like Air Forces, and they did like Air Max ninety eight, and I was like, oh man, I was I was hype about Air, having Air Max Plus. Like, yeah, it's gonna be good, you know? Because if they were gonna do this like what they did with the ninety eights, it would have been clean. You know, just the yeah. all black or like the, the the red and gray, but this one they just went like weird, psychedelic kind of stuff. Well, how do you feel about the white and red one? It's, it's no different than any white. <laughs> <laughs> just too plain. Yeah, too plain. <laughs> this is like one of the shoes you'd find like at the corner of Ross and the women's section. It's ready. That, like no one's touched. It's just kind of like there. Yeah. And then these. Yeah, someone said maybe until uh, till Burlington gets them. I mean, Burlington has gotten some random Supreme right, right, right. tailwinds and who knows. <laughs> oh, man. Well, good luck to everybody. You know, they're still going to resell just because. Yeah, I'm like, I'm know. hyped, but man, that's just not like. That's too much. I can't hype it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, next one. Union. Oh. So two fifty come out on Friday. Union L.A. and uh, Jordan Four. So following ex- uh, the Union exclusive launch last month, this one finally getting a wider release. Uh, pairs most notable features include tweaks to the original design, which we already saw the folded tongue and everything uh but what do we think smasher pass we know it's going to resell but uh, collection would you rock them this one's the cleanest of them all um i i i i know i hated on it when it first came out but this shoe when i saw them on foot is actually not that obnoxious and loud like the other colorway so i mean if i i probably wouldn't rock it you know just because like it's it's just weird, but I wouldn't mind sitting on it and putting it back there, you know, for the collection, just sitting pretty and stuff like that. I, I think it's a clean shoe. Yeah. Let's see. Cop, they're still ugly, but I'm going for them. I'll trade. Uh, trash, big money, mo. Cop, smash, Richard. Bot, Dookie from Kent. Let's see. Cop for the personal all day. District deals, cop. Heat, Dookie all day. They look incomplete from too legit. <laughs> this, this whole part right here just kind of throws it off. But the color is better than the other ones. Oh, 100%. So, so yeah. So let's see. But 250 and comes out on Friday. Dude, I We're like the box. Done. The box was clean. Oh, the box. Next one, Air Force One Wheat Mocha. Man, you're ready. Saturday. Bro. It's going to sell out. Yeah. Originally a Japan exclusive colorway from 2001. Uh, features a wheat suede upper, yellowed semi-translucent midsole, and brown detailing. One thirty on Saturday, clean, yes sir, for the personal. Fire, yeah. rock 'em, 
trash if, sold if, out. If I rock this from afar, I look like I'm bare feet. <laughs> <laughs> Pass getting a real mocha on the 31st from Brilliant. Personal outlet finds. Still love Air Force One. Resale and nice. Too bad. <laughs> I'm <very fun. laughs> Trekstar I like and clean. <laughs> Barefooted B. This, uh, this would look like uh, uh, this is your uh, alternate Tim's. You know what I'm saying? But it's not <laughs> cold. You throw this on. They are pretty clean though, and let's see what happens. One thirty for Saturday. Next one, Jordan thirty-five, center of gravity. Oh, uh, one eighty. Man, I was trying to cop some like newer Jordans. You know, my Jordan thirty-four experience. It's got really high arch, and I am afraid that this one looks like it has really high arch too. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck's going on here? I know like, people are comparing it to the Shack shoe. Because of that design. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but, yeah, this whole... Oh, man. I don't know what they were, what they were thinking with this. The Probably. 35. Yeah, skinny-footed people. But I thought Zion was wearing the 35. Yeah, he is. Zion He's, can fit into this. I, I, dude... They probably just shaved the whole inside of that thing. And he wears <laughs> Phoenix, too, so he'll fit whatever. Also oh, debuted by Jason Tatum first in the bubble. Yeah. Oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> Let's see the Nerf KD4 esque colorway. I didn't even get that vibe from this. Nah. I mean, a little bit, but. Yeah, the gray is like throws it off. The Nerf was blue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know what they're they're just trying to upsell this shoe. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, they're they're kind of like the like Nerf KDs. <laughs> 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 yeah, get out of here. Let me see. Zion is going to make it explode like in the tourney. <laughs> Let me see. Did you get any sneaker from the recent sneaker restocks on the sneakers app? Smooth sailing. Did you get anything? Yeah, I did get I, none hype. I got the, was that the bread concord? What do they call that one? The, yeah, the bread concord low. Yeah, I got, we, me and my wife got it. So <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be stuck with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. I didn't get anything on those. But. I didn't get the off white. I didn't get the. I got the access for the royal toe, but since I already bought it, it just showed. Mm. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah. So, cause like it was like a second chance. Mm. Off the, but yeah. So. All right. Let's go to power rankings now. Last week, DDs, TJ Maxx, Marshalls at three, Ross at four, Burlington at five. I did get submissions. On the Jordan stuff you guys have been finding. Oh. And it's not going to be included until we get to the Husser Hogs part. So right now, all the tags, no Jordan yet. B will help me. We're going to pick eight people only. Not everybody's getting in. One in 24 chance to win the Jordan 1 high. And that's it. Okay, so. Snack for the night. Uh, straight from Ross. Straight Hello, from Panda. Ross. Hello, Panda. <laughs> Did you finish the Chunkies? Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, hit that like button. Baker Brand says so. You want to listen to Baker Brand. He doesn't mess around. All right. All right. All right TJ Maxx. There's nothing for DDs. So straight to TJ Maxx. Two. And only Hustle 2 win came through the red champion overalls. Last time we saw the yellow ones. Red one. And uh, one, two, three, four, five pairs of the 98 Raptors. And they are $60. It is women's section. So, got these two tags. Let's see what the chat says. Um, would anybody rock these? Did anybody actually go out there and try to find some? I know the last live show we did, people were like, oh, I skipped out on those. Yeah. I did see a couple of them. So, if you pick some up. Let you, us know know what, chat. you know what? When I messed up because I did, I did go to a few TJ Maxx, but I didn't check women's. <laughs> <laughs> In my mind, I thought this was men's until you mentioned it. Now, <laughs> let's see. I haven't found any. Uh, Richard says that's a July Fourth, twenty twenty one fit. <laughs> so you got the overalls <laughs> with the shoes. <laughs> All right, is it the next one? 
Uh, oh, Marshalls. I don't know what happened oh. to my little chart, but Marshalls was next. Oregon Flip Finds, Oregon Jacket, 300 retail, 30 wow. bucks. Oh, yeah. wow. What size is that? Is that medium? Medium. Uh -huh. Let's see. Yeah. Maximum 2300 Dallas Cowboys, $40, uh, but reselling low. And then after the DAC injury, these might be on here for a while. Um, Eddie. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> Eddie with the jacket. What's the retail on this? I can't even see like it. One fifty or something. Yeah, I think so. And then a uh, scuba, and then picked up some of the Crocs out there. I got a mm. car full of those. Next one. Texas flipping coach. The jerseys, uh, various jerseys, Chelsea and more. And then uh, resale freak with the pride hat. Ten dollars reselling for eighty. Wow. Money. Yeah. So Marshalls. Uh, take a look at that. And then we got the jacket. Marshall's not messing around from Stone Builder. One seventy nine was the price Bro, on that one. Five hundred retail. I found one of that. I found one of those, and then it didn't have a tag. I took it there, knowing like I was like, "God, oh, they're gonna price match this to like a forty dollar jacket or something <laughs> like that, right?" I hey, disclaimer: I didn't take the tags off. Some dude already tried, right? I got there, and then as soon as I set it up front, I barely gonna ask. I was gonna say like. I wonder how much this is. The lady was like one seventy nine. <laughs> Before I got there, like, nah. Yeah, they already knew. They know. Let's see the man misinformation. Dak jerseys out there. I wonder what's gonna happen. Cowboy's gonna keep them, not keep them. Let's see how he rehabs from his injury. Crazy. Who All right. who's the free quarterback right now that they can get? They can get Kaepernick. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to say Kaepernick? Yeah, I was going to say Kaepernick. Bro, if that happens, 2020. It is 2020. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Big Money Mo. Not messing around. Nike SB boxes doesn't want to tell us what they are. Even covered up the labels with the other boxes. Yeah. Uh, CNJ Enterprises, Washington Huskies. Let's see, 40 bucks for the Adidas. Off sneakers one for the dunk highs, fifty dollars. Nice flips anonymous with the Pharrell. So pretty good stuff out there and complete boxes. Yeah, I think those Janowskis are like the triple black. Oh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Janowskis. <laughs> right, next one. What's in the box? Thread kicks. Oh, big money mo. Again, oh, is this a different haul? Triple white Janowskis right there. <laughs> So big money mo again, resell freak with the up tempo for kids 35, resell freak again, Air Force One at 35, and then vintage picks, and uh, also with the what SB Delta Forces we can see here. I'm trying to see what else there is, and uh, dude, that was it. So let's see. Oh yes, two different ones, big money mo, two different hauls. So now we're getting to the Jordan stuff at the end of each like store. Okay. So does anything memorable be? Right. You right. Me know. I know. I know. All right. So here we go. CNJ Enterprises. Uh, we got the PSG hats. Resell freak. Same thing. Just fire deals. Jordan UNC dry fit tanks. Ten dollars. And then uh, CNJ again. So the Paris hat and then some of the uh, shoes at the socks. Random Jordan stuff. All right, next one. We got the Hydro Slides, Resell Freak, and Big Money Mo. And how much are they? $45. Um, and they're both for kids. So, Marshalls, I think it's going to be very tough, I think, to find some of the Jordan stuff. At least to compete with some of the people that people have been finding out here, especially at Ross. All right, Ross time, four stars. Burlington, yes, still number one. Lakers, Mitchell and Ness, Drum the Hustler, perfect timing. Uh, Derby City Flip with the jacket. What was the retail on this? It was only $20. Retail, $200. Man. Brian, soccer balls, and the Chinatown um, hoodie. Oh, nice. JT Resells, Nike hoodie, tie-dye, and also the Giannis jacket. The Man, I like that tie-dye hoodie so bad. I was waiting. I, was, I saw this at Foot Locker, and I was thinking, oh, this is going to go on sale. And it just went out of stock. Cause I just have, I like how the message uh, in the back. I think it says "action speaks louder than words." 
Mm -hmm. So it has a print on the back. So, and then of course, Ross, you don't even know what size you're gonna find. Yeah, three so. X. <laughs> <laughs> so this is totally random. All right, next one. Look at that Nike shirt. Basketball Whoa. as like a moon. Whoa! Like the wolf thing at the swoosh. Everything that one. Uba. Yo. Yo, somebody sent me the product code of that one. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I like it. That's I the like side that. hustle resale with the Paris jacket. And then we got the, uh, let's see, Adidas jacket and the uh, NSW jacket, the parka for 30 Let me see. I'd rock that 3X. I've seen that in Nike app. Fire. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right. Next ones. Some of the jerseys. JT resells. Look at that Dirk jersey. I told you, top three. Top three. Dirk. Uh, let's see. There's a Hayward. We'll also talk about Hayward, too. <laughs> Hayward, Durant, Curry. Um, I forgot Moonzy, what they said the Heat player was. Uh, but Durant, and then we got some of the... Oh, yeah, man, the Heat school. I've yeah, never I, don't know, I don't know what the player was. I totally forgot. He said it right here in the comment, but... Haslam. It was Haslam? I, I think don't know. It was. No, I think it... It, probably it, was. it wasn't it wasn't D Wade or anything like that. Um next one, Jersey. Oh, he said he's Haslam. Oh, okay. It is Haslam. Oh, only in 30 minutes? Man, <laughs> you undersold it. You undersold it. <laughs> Let's see, Curry and LeBron's still out there. Hustle to win with the Durant and the Westbrook. Father Son resells five dollars. Larry Bird T. Mitchell and S too, huh? Yes, sir. Five bucks. All right. Nike vintage shirt. There's a style code for Hustle B from Fly Kicks. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I'll take a photo of it. All right. Let's go to the shoes. Uh, Air Force One. Puma Hustler. I think he said it was B grade, not B grade. I don't remember. Uh, Ross Guru uh, with the kit. Look at that. The New Balance. $25. Oh. Yeah, I what size. that's not, it looks like a good size, too. Uh, let me see, seven and a half. I think is the size. Oh, let's see, looks, looks a little bit bigger. I don't know, right? Right, it looked like a, like a, at least an eight. I was thinking, uh, the man misinformation 720 and sold out Kobe's still out there. Mm. Um, and then LeBron's, I think people have been finding these at uh Burlington, I believe. All right, let me see. Uh, Puma Hustler says, yeah, this is our B grades. Found two jerseys today. Curry and Hayward sold out. Mile High Hustle said small hands. I was going to say it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Richard, I got the LeBron today, but hang tag was gone. How dare they? Just selling just selling the tag for the championship. Selling that on eBay. Easy money. All right, let's go to the next one. Ronnie resells, not messing around because gets complete box. Even some of the other ones look all box. So it has the plug, Ross plug, uh, slim pickings, very nice, and a size 11, $50. And then we have the Raptors, which hustle to win found those at TJ Maxx. Now they're also here at Ross and probably the same price, uh, $60. All right. Next one. Chris Ramos, yeah, a bunch of these have been showing up. Um, oh, Glenn, sad to tell you that I've seen those at Ross too. This is Ross. Oh, okay. Uh, it looked like a Burlington wrap. Oh, okay. But uh, these are all over the outlets, and outlet couldn't even get rid of these. Right? Yeah, yeah. They sold it, and they're like what, fifty nine? Uh, yeah, fifty nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. Right. Yeah, these are going to be here for a while. Outlets struggling with box to give them away. Uh, Vapor Max, a couple of pairs here, $60. Ross Guru, and then Petty Deals, uh, 97s, Vapor Max, 270 React, and the same uh, Air Max Plus that were on here. And I don't know if anybody has seen, if you've gone through like the men's section going through the hoodies, there's some like little ass hoodies. In the men's section for some reason. I don't know if it's just mine, but I went to multiple Rosses and it says men's medium and it's tiny. Like 
Are you sure it's uh, the petite section? <laughs> I was in the petite section. I was like, what is this? And then, but I was like, this has to be a kid's. Like, someone just threw it here. But then I found more, like, in the large, like, men's large. It's ni- They're all Nike hoodies. Ooh. And then I was like, what the heck? But then I look at the tag. It says men's large. For- and then they're super small. <laughs> Men's petite, Brian. Petite <laughs> or uh, instead of slim fit, skinny feet. <laughs> I saw that too, Ross Shellington. So there you go. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what's going on with those. All right, oh uh, here we go. Vapor Max time. Eddie, arbitrary resale freak, and Slim Pickens, all with the purple, and uh, Vapor Max flying it. So 60 bucks. And next one. Would you rock these purple? Uh, mm. see, I won't because there's like a, did you see the women's version? That's exactly the same, but just has a, like a darker bubble. Uh, this one is the women's version. Oh, that's the women's? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this oh, is the women's. Why would you ask me if I'd rock it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess because the men's one does look like Almost exact, right? I think so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This purple is a little... It's not like Laker purple. No. Nah. It's like a light purple. Let me see. Next one. Would you rock this? Grade school. <laughs> all right. Drum, Husser, Rhino, Eddie, and all with the Vapormax 97. Kids, size 4. I don't know what other sizes are. Dude, I'm, all the, I'm, all the, I'm all for the concept. But like, man, we've we've said this over and again that toe box just looks weird. It looks <laughs> like a bread or something like that, like a French bread or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they were thinking there with these. That's probably why they're all over Ross now. I mean, how well of these? I guess how well could have they have sold when they came out? I don't think. Even then, I think retail on them was like one eighty or, I don't know, something like that. All right, Arizona Fine, 720s, 98. Um, let's keep going down. More of the cart fools. JT resells, 98s, 97s, 95s. Those are pretty clean 97s, too. Um, more 95s. Vapor Max from DK, St. Louis. You got the 720s. More stuff in the cart. Can't just really see those. Puma Hustler also. Yeah, look at the improvement of the cart arrangement. Which one? Cart arrangement. It's oh, really? pretty nice. Yeah, pretty yeah. Yeah. organized. Organized. That's how you like it. Um, so good stuff here. Cart fools. But it looks like kids and women's has most of the items. I haven't really seen any like great, great men's shoes at Ross in a couple of weeks. Uh, the man misinformation. Look at this one. <laughs> what is that one called? Oh, oh dude, they're at. Uh, I've seen them. I've seen them. They're like the the kind of like the the Fila, you know Fila, you know how Fila keeps copying Nike. Nike's like, ah, oh, let me copy you this time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I forgot the name of the shoe. Um, I remember laughing at them when I saw them. Um, I don't know how. Do they resell good? I haven't even. I haven't oh. seen them at, at Ross. <laughs> no, they're not aqua sock. They're different. They're like sandals. They're like <laughs> they're like Cardi B looking sandals. <laughs> Ronzo's Vapor Max 97 720s a bunch of stuff in here Petty Deals South Flow Fines $30 for the Golf 97 good money in these all right next all right now we're getting into the Jordan stuff hey the name is Max Coco Air Max Coco Sandals Air Max Coco sandals. <laughs> I'm not Air Max Coco sandals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Dominic said Air Max Coco sandals. Interesting. <laughs> All right, now we're getting into Jordan stuff. Anything that you see on here that's memorable, keep it in mind. Um, looks like a bunch of clothing for right now. Right, right, right. I don't think anything too too wild, too out there. Um, next one, Price Assassins, Oregon Flip Finds, The Why Not. Uh, I've seen a couple of these pants. They're super cheap, 20 bucks. Um, let's see, we've got the 72 and 10 shirt. 
Next. Let me see. We've got the Jordans here. Shenanigans. Uh, what about the Jordan Golf? Jordan Golf. That's cool. Soul Searching's on. Um, Tribe Called Steels. Actually, this is a Marshall's fine. <laughs> uh, Rieslinger Pro. One of the zip ups. Keep going. Uh, what about this one? Too legit. The gray? I don't think I saw a gray one. Yeah, but it's not like the hype. You know, it's not like the shadows, right? The shadows would be it. Or would you rather get the red low? I get Eddie. Yeah. Man, I remember back back in the day if you were finding those with the outlet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. We got the blue and black as well. What about the Paris hoodies? Yeah. I mean, they seem like to be a lot more common now than I thought they were mm -hmm. going to be. And then next one. Oh, now we're talking. So Kick Finder and Thrifty Scent both with the Tinker. And a ten and a half was the size here. And a sixty-five bucks. Yeah. Tinker's cool. Um, Eddie also with the tens. And then Chris Ramos with the Jordan Four. And I believe are they kids, men's? They're kids. Forty bucks for the winter oh. ride. Their kids. I thought they were immense when I first saw it. Yeah. So that one. And is that it? Oh no, we got more. Some oh, of the Jordan fleets. Like Jordan ones though. What was that? There, I think somebody found Jordan ones. Are they here? Um, I don't know. I guess I'll have to see Jordan ones at Ross. Oh no 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 Ross! It was Burlington. Oh okay. Oh yeah, we'll go. To, we'll keep going to Burlington. Uh, Race out freak, just fly. And thread kicks with the Jordan cleats, the eleven low, and then uh, look at this Levi's Jordan. Oh, hat. yo, that's clean. I saw that one. So Man. thirty-five bucks. I would rock that. I was actually just looking at a. I was thinking about getting a jean jacket, but that one right there <laughs> kind of has like a Union vibe to it, you know. Speaking of Union, what about the Union jacket? Where? This one right here. Oh, that's a union jacket? Yeah, $20. Man, did that even scream union, though? I know. It's, like, pretty kind of calm and plain yeah. and just white and black. But At first, though, at first, like, I kind of had it mixed up. I thought, like, this jacket was, like, union. And I realized that, that it was the Jordan 4s that they did on the collab for the Jordan 4 Levi's. Yeah, so I don't. I mean, this is pretty clean too. Uh, I haven't seen them out there in the wild. It looks like Thread Kicks also been trying to find them. Has not seen the Levi's jackets out there, so I don't know. Maybe they'll be out there. Also got the Jordan Eleven hoodie, uh, tribe called Steels. And so that was it for Ross uh, for the Jordan. So anything you remember in there, we'll go back at the very end, and then we'll choose those. All right. CNJ Enterprises, Lakers hoodies, Mitchell and Ness, 20 bucks, just in time. Wow. Sneaker finds 12. We got the Vapor Max. Uh, JT resells the Day of the Dead hoodie, $25. And Ohio State. There you go, Ohio. That's money right there. Let's see, Rowdy Resellers. Pick those up. I don't know what the price was, though. Mm -hmm. Perfect price. All right, next one. Look at all these. All right, so Willy Will deal account, Willy Will again, and flip the script. So Vapor Max everywhere, sixty dollars each, and of course we got a cart full over here. Vapor Max Plus. Man, Willy Will doesn't count. Willy Will, Big Money Mo, Sneaky, <laughs> we're getting cart fulls. All right, Eddie. Man, I, Glenn, Glenn, imagine, imagine waking up in their position. Ah. Oh. I gotta go get my vapor max at the store. That's just probably how they they leave the house. You know? <laughs> They're just ready. They're just ready with their capital. I was like, you know, I'm buying seventy dollar vapor max. You know, one cart full. <laughs> one cart full at a time. They walk into Burlington Glen, getting a cart. You know, you know, like those people. Like, you want a cart, sir? They wipe down the cart for you and then just hand it to you. You and want then, the cart full of vapor max? Yeah, <laughs> it's ready there. All right. <laughs> All right. We got the KDs. 50 bucks. Are they kids? Yeah, they're kids. Um, size six. 
Sneaky the man uh Mr. Information twenty dollars. Wow on the Air Max. Uh fonts for fun, foamies, and a Vapor Max right there in the middle. And uh seven twenties, sixty dollars from Eddie. So man, good money to be made there. Those KDs are pretty unique. I mean, I've never seen uh yeah. Aunt Pearls end up here. Yeah, very, very true. Uh, Rock the Kicks, Big Money Mo, Cheddar Bob, and Good Batch Store. We got LeBron Soldiers. We got the South Beach Vapor Max, Vapor Max Plus, kind of like that purple grid in there. Um, let's see what else do we got. Uh, some of the Metcon, some of the Fly Knits, uh, Big Money Mo. What are these called again? These shoes, Aqua Rifts. Mm. Yeah, man, like those are good. Um, hey, I haven't seen oh. these. Especially the black and white ones. I trust yourself for a lot. So there we go. Big Money Mo Doesn't disappoint. Got LeBron Soldier too. Yep. LeBron. The whole black one. All right. Sneaky Flips. Soul Searching's on. Pags. And uh, let's see. We got what? $70 of Vapor Max. Um, 97 cool Yeah. Definitely cool colorway. Let's see. Pags. The 90s. Sneaky. And also, we got 720s and a Vapor Max again, kid section uh, for the soul searchings on. Next, let's see Joshi Bofo merchandise. It'll be selling with the Eagles and Stone Builder. A couple of pairs of the twos at $40. The Air Max Plus in purple, the OG colorway back there. 95s, Romaleos. And the Air Force One High Bofo. All right, next one. I'm trying to go slow, it doesn't lag. Kyrie's from Sneaky. There's a LeBron's again, Price Assassins. Man, Good Bad awesome. Store, nice, the Blazer. And a Sneaker Finds, LeBron's and the Kyrie's. All right, keep going. And those Kim Jones, I remember those like months. Oh, yeah, those don't do good. A Mamo Dog, and I believe, who else? Miles, I think, also picked these up. $45. Let me see. Rowdy Resellers as well. Killing it. Let's see. $35. Size 7. LeBron Soldier. And uh, Indy Finds. And look at this hybrid. I mean, those almost look like a... Uh... Bro, they look like a Fat Farms. <laughs> <laughs> look at the side... Lacing and stuff, man. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, hey. So somebody buy like bread toast from eBay and send this to verify. You know, <laughs> send this to verify. Hilarious, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I really want that to happen, and then like hide a GoPro or something there, a recorder or something like that, see their reaction. <laughs> <laughs> And then it passes. Yeah, and it passes. Oh, and look at these guys. So City Flips, JT Resells, Willy Will. Man, Vapor Max everywhere. Cartfuls. Uh, Vapor Max Plus. This one got marked down to 35 bucks. Uh, I don't know how that happened. Oh, yeah. Somebody, uh, somebody got a hold of the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> And then Willie's uh, Willie Will's view straight from the box. Right, pre-packed. You know, they just have all the Nikes pack in one box. Hey, Willie Will, good morning. Yeah. Or why? Why even censor them at this point? Huh? Like, why do they have censors at this point? Like, just give them the shoes. They actually apologized to Willie Will after that. They won't do it. Again. <laughs> they won't do it again. They won't do it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're sorry, sir. These have censors on them. Yeah, I apologize. We're wasting your precious time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Ross Shallington on his lunch break. <laughs> Couple of pairs of Vapor Max Plus. And look at that Vapor Max in here. Father Son resells. Look at that. Flying it. Four pairs. Oh, Air Max wow. Plus. Every yeah. colorway. Look at that. One of each. I like that. A nice oh. clean cart, too, by the yeah. way. See, see, they're taking notes, you know, efficiency. They check out quicker. Yeah, nah, look at that. I'm going to see fonts for fun hustle. Wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? 
Uh, Rock the Kicks. We got the 98s. We got the 95s. Uh, this one also straight from the box view. Pick right. that up. All right, next one. A man brings his own price gun. <laughs> uh, let's see. Willy Will. Not done. Resell Freak. Tie Dye 97. Wow. Willy Will 97s. More Vapor Max flying it. Man, District Deals also in yeah. here. The most disorganized picture taker of all time. District Deals. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw <laughs> the tie on the floor. That's his. <laughs> District Deals is like ready to pay. He has these all in his hand, and then he's yeah. like, "Oh crap, for IG, I'm just throwing yeah. my hair next to these signs, yeah. next to these signs for the." For the house. <laughs> <laughs> and then just fly three pairs, Vapor Max, very nice. All right, let's see. R and J Funky finds nice organized little cart right there as well. Thread kicks. Look at this, up tempos. Oh man, the camo and the denim showing up. I would Rock. think that you know, Willie will they're gonna find these soon. But Thread Kicks came out with a couple of pairs of these already, and the yeah. camo 97s. I think what's yeah. funny about Burlington is that there's camo right now, there's those camo Air, Air Force One. Oh, uh, those ones they're sitting, there's the camo. Uh, Air Force 270 that's out there. Mm -hmm. Now there's camo 97s and camo up tempos. Hunting season, bro. And, <laughs> yeah, if I went hunting for sure, I'd wear the up tempos. Yeah, I got the. I'll, I'll get the Air Force one heist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kick Finder, a different color on the Vapor Max. We got pink, and uh, those 95s though. I'll definitely keep one for myself. Yeah, just for construction purposes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Work on the road, they'll see you. Yeah, 35 bucks for the road. Yeah. Uh, resell Freak. This, if you keep going on this little slide, a whole bunch of shoes got home and just put them all in tubs. Oh. I mean, there were just like so many different finds on here. Resell Freak. Hey. I like that. Organized. Yeah, nice and organized, just for yeah. the beat. 22 pairs of Vapor Max. <laughs> Burlington. <laughs> hey, rewind, rewind. Glenn, you need to get that as a clip. 22 pairs. You said it like it's an ordinary day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else? Nothing else to see here. Just 22 pairs like nothing. <laughs> right, right, right. Big Money Mo. Also more. Let's see Cortez 97s, 95s, and more. Uh, best deals here. Three pairs of the Vapor Max in that same uh, yellow goldish color. All right. Let's see. Good batch store off sneakers one and hustle to win. Two pairs of the Air Max Plus. We got some of the soccer cleats out there and of the 95s in all white. All right, tuned hot lava. Would you rock this one? No, no, not feeling them. No, no. All right, here we go. Jordan finds anything you see memorable that you want to keep. Yo, that's Maybe. unique. The three one two lows. I've never seen that colorway. Oh, uh, this one is yeah. that. Is that just kind of like a Chicago or is that a top three looking one? No, uh, just Chicago one. That's a good question. <laughs> Look at this guy in the comments. Size 32. So St. Louis got the golf. Okay. Uh, Willie Will, of course, we've seen them. Um, Thread Kicks. Very nice, the ones. Uh, uh, bargain cool. Baron Strikes. That's the one I was talking about. This one? The No, the left one. Is that like mm -hmm. a Lely May? Is that how you say it? Uh, for this one, yeah, the women's one, yeah, yeah. the furry one, yeah. yeah, yeah, the furry one. Uh, let me see. I tagged that same pair of 312 Lowe's Texas Pete, <laughs> not a size 32 Puma Hustler. Next one, uh, resale freak Leva. Uh, got some of these, the Jumpman, they're 50 bucks, big money mo as well. Uh, di totally different color though on these, and hustle to win four pairs. <laughs> of those Jordan ones. The unwanted ones. <laughs> yeah. What is this one called? I forgot what this one was called. 
<laughs> Unwanted ones. <laughs> this guy. Let me see. Let me go back up on here. Um, Camel ain't working if they're finding them all. Let's see. Your Burlington is trash. Mine too. <laughs> oh, Stephanie sold a Zach Levine jersey. Nice. How much? Uh, let me see. What up, fellas? Hit on sneakers app today from Randy. All right, keep going. Finds and flips. Gore-Tex pants. Retail two fifty. Jordan. Oh, yeah, that's How totally much random. Is that one? What was that? That Gore-Tex one. Uh, Gore-Tex Jordan ones. Yeah, retail two fifty. I don't know what the price was. That's weird. I wonder we uh does that like probably came out with like why not or something like that? You know, it's kind of <laughs> wacky and some kind of like outer space looking one. Only only re- <laughs> this one would only come out because Westbrook made it come out. Yeah, that's what it is. No one else would, no one else would rock this one. No. <laughs> yeah, that would be a why not collab or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh so we got more Jordans. I'm pretty sure I I always seen the just big sizes on these. Uh, but Pags also found the Winter Eyes. I think they're also for kids. Oh, Winter Eyes, yeah. Yeah. And then let me see. See, there we go. This is what mine. Oh, the see, that's from Brian. This is exactly what mine looks like. <laughs> that's your store. Too. We get all the size 17 and over, and they're all right here lined up. And then uh, God Soldier, also size 17, big sizes. And then Sneaky, uh, size 13, also threw a LeBron in there. Uh, 49 and 59. All right, so that was it. Power rankings stayed the same. Nothing changed. Burlington still on top. Five stars. Um, so bring the heat, especially for the same dudes. Willie Will and Sneaky and Big Money Mo, and just keep dominating out there. All right, giveaway time. Tans finds I owe you money. Uh, let's see who I owe next. Get this paid out today. <laughs> Uh, giveaway time. You know what? Not going to be that easy today. Oh. Not going to be a style code. No, 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 no. Since everybody's been finding the same sneakers at Burlington, you got to tell me. In order, by most listed to least. A, B, Y, Z. Most listed to least from these four sneakers. Now, B, if you had to guess... What would you say? Which one have you seen the most from Burlington? I'd say A. Has the most? Yeah. Okay, so what does your list look like? A first? I think A. I might go in order. A, B, Y, Z. That's mm. probably the answer. You're going right in order. A, B, Y, Z, says the B. Um, all right, let me see it in the chat. Let's see, what do we have? Who has already won or not won? Let's see the first answer stone builder no carlos no hustle crow no uh, anderson very close uh, thread kicks no resale freak dapper fanatic no let's see no nope jt resells no Texas Pete, no. And recovery, right under Texas Pete, you have one. That is the correct answer. It's Bayes. B-A-Y-Z. That's what I thought. 237 listings. Wow. That is crazy. I I was, was, that's what I was in my mind. Like, the top two was the most. So I didn't know exactly which one because I haven't found a. Orange. I just saw. I guess because orange is loud colorway, it looks like you know there's a bunch of them. But um, I did find the 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 Philly, right? Is that what they call them? The Philly, the Eagle, yeah, Philly yeah, Eagles. The Eagles one. I did find that Marshalls too, so that might play a factor. Yeah. So that one, yeah, it might be kind of like doubling up on the inventory on that if there's multiple stores that do have them. But 237 listings, 146. Wow. 94, 38. Um, if you found all three of these, all four of these in store, would you still pick them up? Yeah. Now knowing how many are listed? Yeah, for sure. I, uh, I would sit on this. I mean, this, does, this doesn't on, scare you? No, I've sat on uglier shoes. <laughs> <laughs> DJ says it's up to 278 now. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> well, doctors are listing, and that's just listing. That's not including the quantity or the multiple variation that they have. <laughs> Will Will probably or, uh, owns a hundred of them. Yeah, Will Will's probably got a bunch of these. I put mine away for a few months. That says Will Will. <laughs> that's exactly what Glenn would do. <laughs> <laughs> JT resells. I got those brand new with box at Nike Outlet for eighty. Which one did you get? Brand new with box for eighty. Well, yeah, the the Philly. Yeah. Oh, you think this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I remember so, this one didn't sell that great, right? When it came out, no, I think it's, no. that's like a it's just know. weird, wacky. Like it's like the a NASA color. colorway, right? You know what I'm saying? Like the PG NASA. Um, but but it it's crazy. I actually haven't seen the the is that the future pack? The the Z. Mm, yeah, this one. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Came with the, the the same pack with the ninety seven, um, and other colorway. But uh, Vapor Max hype prices dropping from Brilliant. Willie says I've seen people sign them for eighty eight dollars free shipping. <laughs> what the for heck? sure that well, like with people pricing that, that's kind. Of, I think for me, that's kind of good. That means that means you know it's gonna sell out quicker than normal, right? Imagine if this. 200 plus people put it up for 180 that's gonna have like a slow turn you know before it gets to you so and with q4 christmas time coming up i know right so like that's gonna fly i mean like that's not even christmas pricing that's just steel price you know yeah. <laughs> christmas they're gonna be like looking for some color specific eagles you know fan or something like that or boston celtic kind of like you know ha just has that colorway and and that's that's definitely gonna gonna sell or even they're gonna buy it for themselves that's true too all right it's going to october hustler hog we have to choose eight people from the jordan finds and we have eight we have eight next week eight the following that's, after that's, that. easy. that's kind of easy right there no oh, this I guy got, says I, it's easy i yeah I, I, I have like uh, a few in my head ready okay let me uh remove this and then, whoops, stop screen, share screen. All right, we're trying, entire screen. I don't, I don't rock Yeezys. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. We're going to go back. We're going to start off with, what was the store that we had our first finds? Marshalls? Marshalls. I don't, I don't think, think we, we had much. Cool there. Yeah, I don't think we had much. Let me bring this out. We're only doing the first eight anyway, so I can just put this right here. So I'll type it in, whoever we decide. So here we go. Marshalls, anything here? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, let's go to Ross. Keep going down. Let's see where the Jordan stuff starts. Uh, clothing? Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, what about the golf? Nah, nah, I've uh, seen better. All right, be said it. What about these? Uh, no, 30, 33? Yeah. No. <laughs> All right, what about any of these? Paris? No. Hoodies, too, the common gray. too common. I like the gray one. I haven't seen it. The gray? Have yeah. you seen comps? No, I haven't looked it up. <laughs> it might be trash. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Uh, what about the bread uh, low? That's not common. I will, I will consider it. I'll put that on eight. <laughs> the bottom. All right, he's considering it. Okay. Uh, what about both of the tinkers? Yes, both tinkers. Okay, both tinkers. Oops. A one kick finder. All right, let me get this out of the way. I'm gonna get this smaller. Uh, there you go. All right, one kick finder and thrifty scent will both be added in. <laughs> we haven't even seen the other ones. We still gotta. But I guess for Ross, I mean, you're already in. So, yeah. what do you feel about? The winterize for kids or the tens. Well, the tens we've kind the of already tens, seen. Maybe, but you know, 
Let's, let's see. Maybe. Let's come back to it. it. Those are maybes. Okay, those are maybes. Uh, the cleats? No. Those yeah, they're, are poor. they're pretty common. What about the Levi's jacket? Number one for me. What, <laughs> what about the Union one, though? Uh, see, I it didn't even catch my eye. I don't even think it's cool. I don't even... <laughs> Dude, I mean, just if you didn't look at it and you didn't see it was a Union, it was just a regular Jordan. I probably would have looked at the bread 11 hoodies before the Union. So... Let's see, Baker Brand, five dollars. Uh, Hustler Snacks donation, great show. Get a hundred likes before we leave, everybody. Appreciate that, Baker Brand. Not only just for the five bucks for the snacks, but yes, try to get to one hundred likes before we go, and we can get everybody uh, at least uh, our next what six more people added. All right, so you're saying I'm Alpha Omega. I do agree. I think this one should go in. Yeah, that's so cool, man. Whoops. I get this out of here. At I'm all right. So you were in. And uh I'm throwing the union one in. I mean it is union. How okay. fast that happen? That's right. I agree. I don't until, disagree. until we look at the Burlington ones again and we're like, oh crap. <laughs> Uh, we left somebody out. Okay. So fly kicks flip you are in. All right, let's go to yeah. next time make a more like a cooler photo, I guess. You know, because it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I got four spaces left. Anything nope. from here? No. Nope. St. Louis, yeah. thread kicks or the really ones for sure. What? You want this one in there? Yeah, the furry ones, I think. Yeah. I thought this one was kind of common, no? Not really. Not really. Third kicks, you were in. We got three spaces left for this week. Remember, you still got next week and the week after that, so you got plenty Fur. of time. Um, keep these on hold, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't want mids in our channel. Let's see. <laughs> also, to, also to win. Resell free. Get the jump, man. And then next, what about those Gore-Tex pants? Yeah, it's cool, but... Retail 250. Uh, winterized again. Pags. Uh, keep going down. Well, these are everywhere. This one also. Yes, if you add the winterized four, you got to add the other one, too. Yeah, that's true. So, I don't... Okay. It's kids, you know. Um, see, now I'm looking at the tens. <laughs> now tens have stepped up, right? Think about it. Like every everything here is people find. Like if you're like talking about cool factor of it, rare tens would be up there, and like the Gore-Tex pants would be there. But man, that's like five X. <laughs> <laughs> it's a large. <laughs> oh, it's a large. Yeah. <laughs> like an overall <laughs> <laughs> all right so right now gore-tex pants it looks like they're listed for uh 150 range right let's see let me check to see if they're selling <laughs> uh hey yeah. one sold for 250 oh another one sold for 145 put that another in one sold for 190 put that in there <laughs> all hey, right all, all you gotta tell me is buy it for 20 and sell it for you know, one fifty, and then it's where. What what do they call it, Glenn? Which one? The Gore-Tex yeah. pants. Um, it is. It's part of the Fearless pant. That's what it says. Men's Fearless Gore-Tex pants. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> let's see what the let's see what the uh, chat says. Last winter time coming up. I agree. I agree. <laughs> All right. Anything else on here? Let me get this chat out of the way. Well, I wanted to still keep it on here. What about these ones? No? Which one? This one. Oh, no. The unwanted ones. <laughs> <laughs> you, we, got two, we got two spaces left. We got to decide. What about the tens? I thought the tens were like... Uh, 
You want to throw the tens in there? What about the mids? <laughs> Fine, you pick one and I'll pick one. Go ahead. Uh, I'd pick the I'd pick the tens. All right, let me see who had the, the ten. retro vibe. I got the retro vibe going. All right, so you're going with this one right here from Eddie. Yeah. All right. I can't even. I, guys, I can't even see the names of these people, so <laughs> I'm not being biased. Like, Glenn's reading them off, like, because because I'm pretty much seeing the same screen space as you guys are, um, you know, and I'm not seeing their names, so there's no bias at all. All right, next one. So I got one left. <laughs> Glenn's going to pick the, the gray one. <laughs> which, which one? <laughs> Hey, this is all set up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, the golf? No, the the oh. the high one, gray. Oh, this gray, the this? light gray. One. No, the gray cleats, the cleats. Oh no no no! Oh, the Ross ones. Oh, man, this is tough. One left. Yeah, I can't choose a winterized one because. It's we got to throw the other winterized one in there. Hmm. <laughs> Size 32? <laughs> Size 32. Let me go back up. Was anything here, Ross, that we missed? If well, this Ed, Eddie's already in, and he had the low. Oh, okay. If if this was the hoodie show off, Glenn would have picked up uh, pick the Day of the Dead ready. Yeah, that one's a dope. That's a dope hoodie. I'm gonna go with this one, the other golf. Soul searching's on. I agree. That's a pre premium too. All right, so let's put this in here. Searching's on. All right, we are done. Let me save. Those are the first eight added, and we will be giving away a Jordan One High. Get this on here. And stop screen. Hey, Glenn, did you see Mile High? Oh, more for the barbecue fund. <laughs> ten uh, ten is like, ten's like half my meal. <laughs> That's <laughs> uh, it's 4.25. <laughs> oh, um, Girl Boss also here. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. So uh, we're going to try again. Remember, we got eight spaces for next week. Got plenty of time. Still got one after that. It's almost like you gotta find something that's not average, but not the greatest. I think if you're in between, you have a very good shot of going in. Yeah. Like go find that. Go find another Levi's jacket and sell it to me. <laughs> Medium. Schmedium. Schmedium. All right, let me go back to the chat. Anything else before we go? Any questions? Anything you want to say? Oh, man, I can't. I'm not like the same. Uh, can't remember where the hats. Just put the hat over your headphone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so, so it it is like halfway October already. Yes, sir. And I'm not forgetting it. It's my anniversary next. Well, our wedding anniversary on Monday. Oh, on Monday. How many years? Don't question me that, Glenn. Don't oh, ask. Okay. That's not on the script, bro. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Are you gonna do a hog of the year giveaway? Oh, ah, for sure. <laughs> Maybe a Korean barbecue meal. Hog of the year, yeah. man. I like that idea. Um, let me go back in here. I nominate Cornelius for hustler hog. <laughs> Yo, yeah, honestly though, like I can't believe how October is going so fast. Yeah, it's going quick. The two months, November, December, super fast. Man, You're when it's November, it's game over. Like we're like shipping nonstop. Yeah. Um, it, 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 this is like the first. I mean, over the weekend was like the first time I've had to, because I have a cart. It's like the first time I had to do three, uh, three cart loads. To post office. Yeah, post office better be working. Yeah. They're going to be struggling, though. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, Brian, wife is actually due on Monday. 
Man, baby time. Man. Let's That's see. The downfall of Brian. And then, <laughs> he already has a kid. Oh, okay. So oh, he'll, be more. he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> how's B's camera quality so much better? B has good lighting where he's at. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, B, no, I'm not. Man, remember, we've used this camera. This is the uh, the 1080 Logitech camera. No. no, the OnlyFans. <laughs> That's the one you use for OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, this is the high quality. Yeah, Glenn just uses the stock for uh thing, right? Yeah, I just use the stock camera on here. Yeah, yeah, Glenn on the basement. I'm actually. <laughs> yeah, he's. Actually on the basement. Yeah, I'm on the basement. Glenn's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I actually need to put new lights. I got lazy <laughs> on here. Two of them already went out, and I was like, yeah, I'll get to it. Uh, they go back. Uh, let's see. Appreciate you guys. Made it over 100. Great job, everybody. Thanks, Baker Brand. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, My High Hustle can be give away those flu games. Yeah, I can give away a flu game. I have a, a flu game, but they're like the bottoms crumble, but I'll give it away <laughs> for collection. This guy. Yeah, I got like three, only three functioning flu games right there. One, two, three, and then. The one in the box is like crumbled because it's it hasn't been worn. <laughs> Let's see, you need disco lights. Uh, Glenn is on dial up. That's why it keeps going out too. That's why we had technical difficulties. Uh, let's see, I want that premium receipt behind B. Oh, that one. That one. <laughs> yeah, that That's one. That's my ultimate find. <laughs> All right, anything before we go? Man, I actually just bought bought like 30, uh, 36 rolls of packing tape today. This guy's ready. Right. So tell everybody, be ready. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. Do you oh, ship do you ship help? alone or have help? Um, I have help. Me and my wife help each other. I ship sad and alone. Kidding. I do, I do the shipping, but the wife does all the Amazon prepping. Oh, I like, had to do all the boxes and that's good. Yeah, I hate going through all that and making sure they're ready to go. Uh, let's see anything else. Good show. All right, we are done. Uh, submit all the Jordan stuff. We'll get to them for next week. Add a brand new eight, and I'll tell you what shoe I'm giving away next week. All right, we'll see you guys and.